I'm going to tell you about the ships and aircrafts of World War II. The Allied ships include USS Yorktown and USS North Carolina, both owned by United States. USS Yorktown, a 19,800-ton aircraft carrier, was built in Newport News, Virginia, and was commissioned on September 30, 1937. It operated in the Atlantic and Caribbean areas until April 1939. Two weeks after the December 7, 1941, Japanese attacked on Pearl Harbor. The Yorktown traveled through Panama Canal to re reinforce the badly damaged Pacific Fleet. Yorktown then steamed to the South Pacific, where she participated in a series of battles that climaxed in the Battle of Coral Sea. In this battle, in which she was damaged by en enemy bombs, her planes attacked two Japanese aircraft carriers. Quick repairs at Pearl Harbor put Yorktown in good enough condition to participate in the Battle of Midway on June 4, 1942. However, strikes by the dive bombers and torpedo planes seriously damaged Yorktown, causing her abandonment during the afternoon of June 4th. Two days later, a Japanese submarine torpedoed the Yorktown shortly after daybreak. The ship sank shortly afterwards. The Yorktown's wreck was discovered in May 1998, in surprisingly good condition after 56 years beneath more than three miles of seawater. In 1941, the battleship USS North Carolina was the first new U.S. battleship designed in over two decades. She and her sister ship, the Washington, represented a huge jump in speed, protection, and firepower over previous designs. When built, she was one of the most powerful ships in the world. She went on to earn more battle stars than any other U.S. battleship in World War II. The North Carolina is now berthed in Wilmington and is a war memorial dedicated to the brave men and women who fought in World War II. Aircrafts of World War II include B-17 bomber and ME-262 jet-powered fighter. The B-17 Flying Fortress bomber was employed in precision bombing campaigns of World War II against German industrial and military targets. It is considered the first truly mass production large aircraft, eventually evolving through numerous design advancements from B-17 version A to version G. More than 12,700 were produced between 1936 to 1945. Late in World War II, at least 25 B-17s were fitted with radio controls, loaded with 20,000 pounds of high explosive dubbed BQ-7 Aphrodite missiles and used against U-boat docks and bombing res resistant buildings. The ME-262 Swallow was the world's first operational turbojet fighter aircraft. It was produced in World War II and saw action starting in 1944 as a multi-role fighter, bomber, and interceptor for Luftwaffe or German Air Force. Its name comes from the fact that the Swallow is one of the fastest birds in a dive. German pilots named it Turbo, while Allies called it the Stormbird. <laughs> 